love me, if you love me, said Jesus to his disciples the night before he died, you will obey my commandments. But mercifully, he goes on, if you love me, you will keep my commandments and I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the spirit of truth. That's the power from on high that Jesus told his disciples to wait for. Yes, as you go, make disciples of all nations. Teach them to obey everything that I've commanded you. But wait for the power on high, who not only will give you, the disciples, the ability to live this gospel, but will also come to all those who you reach. This spirit is not just for those who are in the upper room. This Holy Spirit of God is promised to all of us who turn to Jesus and ask for his grace, for his forgiveness and for his help. And luckily for us, his forgiveness is also not a one-off offer. One of the early teachers of the Christian faith, we only know that his name was John, wrote to his small community these words, these very realistic words. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, we are called to obey Jesus' commandments and thus to show him our love and to help him in being salt and light that the world may reflect the Father's glory. But we don't have to pretend that we can do it alone, and we don't have to pretend that we'll always get it right. We can ask for the help of the Holy Spirit, and we can ask for forgiveness whenever we fall short.